Hey there, Gary. Nice to talk to you here today. And uh, what we wanted to do is to ask you a couple of questions. The first one being, really, where is the market in Eugene and Lane County here in 2023 in the first quarter compared to the previous year and maybe the past decade? Can you give us sure. some perspective? Well, we've we've noticed uh, a little bit of decline in the market, which was expected, of course, but it hasn't collapsed like the news media would like you to think. The, the sky is not falling. Uh, we have uh, we've experienced of late in the last part of the first quarter another uptick, as a matter of fact, of people wanting to get out there and, and find a home or those that are interested in selling. But as far as prices are concerned, the the median price really hasn't changed much from a year ago. It was climbing, but then all of a sudden, with the with the new issues that have gone on with the interest rates. It has declined some, but the actual actual prices of homes really hasn't declined very much at all. And uh, we still see an awful lot of, uh, in, of interest out there that there is still a, a huge pinned up uh, need for homes. And, and of course, the time on the market uh, for, for uh, uh, being listed is only just a little over a month and a half of inventory. So things are still quite, quite good here in, in Lane County. Okay, that's great to hear. So then if I was a seller in Eugene, specifically then, would this be a good time to look at putting the house on the market in your opinion? That's a great question. In my opinion, because we don't really know what the future holds, it would be, it would be wise because of the uh, huge uh, need for homes, I would put it up the sooner the better, in my opinion. Uh, remember, we're, we're entering springtime, which means uh, there's going to be more people out there looking because they think that's the time to look for homes. So it's better to be one of those fish that everyone has their lines out for. So it's much better to have your home on the market now than it would be, say, in October. Right, right. Okay, so that brings up a good point then, and we can kind of wrap this up here. For somebody who's considering selling, um, is it easy to to work with you? What do they do to work with somebody like yourself, Gary, to get their home ready to sell? What do they do? Well, first of all, uh, the biggest issue is contact your realtor and ask them for advice as far as what to do. What's the most cost effective ways to dress up curb appeal, if you will, uh, to dress up your home for the for the market, because the more uh, dressed up it is, the less clutter that you have, the better you will show compared to the other homes. So always start there first as far as getting advice and, and also let your realtor know where do you want to go? Because if you don't have a place to go, you're not really interested in selling. So there's, it's kind of a two-part issue there. We want to make sure that we find the right home for you so that you can have a place to move once your home sells. Perfect, perfect. We'll put it on the screen as well. Now, how do we get a hold of you if I was a potential buyer or a seller? How do we get a hold of you, Gary? Well, you can simply go to Lane County Listings, like more than one listing. Again, lanecountylistings.com, or simply give me a call. It's Gary Ray's 541 554-5825. Easiest. I'll be glad to have a conversation with you at any time. You can text, you can email Gary Rays at remax.net and uh, I'll get right back to you.